Hey, good afternoon everyone. Today I will be going over how to pick or how to choose what size pump you need for your pond or aquaponic system. Now, in order to do this, you will have to measure your pond and you need three numbers. Uh, the length, the width, and how deep your pond actually goes. So once you have those three numbers, it doesn't matter if it's in inches, feet, yards, meters, you will multiply those three numbers together and then you will multiply them times how many gallons, how many liters go into a cubic feet, into a cubic yard, a cubic meter, cubic inches, you name it. Since I'm trying to figure out how many gallons fit in one cubic feet, I simply googled how many gallons per cubic feet and I got this. If you're trying to figure out how many liters in a cubic feet or a cubic yard, just google it and you should be able to get a specific number. So since my pond, as you can tell, is not a perfect square, it's not a perfect square, uh, I will have to divide my pond into four sections. Uh, on the left side, that's one section, then the middle, the front, and finally the right side. Those are four different measurements that I will have to get and add them all up in order to determine how many gallons of water does my pond hold simply because each little section has a different depth a de different length and different different width than one another now here's a quick chart that sort of shows you how my pond looks like and what i will be doing in order to determine how many gallons of water my pond has. So here we go. One of the things that will affect how many gallons of water or how much volume of water you're pushing through the pump is the actual pipe or the hose. The hose that goes from your pump all the way towards where you have the water flowing into so the hose i have i believe is half inch it's a little too small because i had originally used it for this pump um i bought this one at home depot and in about 10 months for sure less than a year it broke the pump broke, so what did I do? I went and bought another one. And same thing, within a couple months, the second one broke. So I'll go into what happened to these in a little bit, but this is the size hose that I was using. So I'm still using it. I need to get a bigger one because it's a little too small. So depending on the amount of horsepower that your pump is pushing, it will have a slight effect on how much pressure of water it's able to push into your system. Because if you have a motor that has a low horsepower and you have a big hose, it's gonna have more weight or pressure to push through the hose and same thing vice versa if you have a mortar that's pretty strong but a small hose like in my example it's not going to be able to push that much water through the hose because it's a small hose so let me go ahead and unplug my the pump 
so there's a couple things to consider um, and what kind of pump you need but one of the things as you can see in this example is it's called uh, how much pressure per head a pump can have so if you look at the example that I have right here you will see that if this exit where the water leaves is at water level it is working the pump is working at full capacity but the higher you go as you can see in this example the amount of gallons per uh, hour drops and if I was to bring this up over to 10 uh, sorry 9 feet all the way up that this that little pump in this example will not have enough pressure enough horsepower to push all the water up so let, let me go ahead and show you the pump that I ended up going with Here we go. As you can see the pumps on the left, I got those from Home Depot. They were about 80 bucks with taxes, but it's pushing 560 gallons per hour. But if you can tell on the right hand side where the, where the hose goes, it goes up about three feet and if we go back to our chart uh, I don't know if there's any math to this but I would say that at three feet the pump from Home Depot is now pushing about 400 gallons per hour because the higher it goes the less water pressure the motor will have or the pump will have to push the water up so after those two pumps failed i went and bought this big guy right here this one for Har from harbor freight and it's been doing just fine for the past two years or so uh, no issues but as you can tell it pushes 2500 gallons per hour that is about five times give or take more water pressure than the pumps on the left now the pumps on the left from home depot i don't recommend them simply because let me show you why all right so this is the first pump that i have the reason i can tell is because right here on the side it was eaten away uh, probably from vibrating too much. I have no idea but Here we go. So let me show you what it looks like uh, in order to take this out you just turn it and Pull it out. Here we go. And this is one thing I Didn't like about it Is that in the inside It has this magnet So I'm gonna put this away real quick if you can look at this just right you will see that the magnet is not rounded anymore it looks more like an oval and if I take this away there we go where this little I don't know tube goes it's supposed to be in the middle but as you can tell that over time it was e eaten away uh, so it was no longer spinning and I didn't know about this so I bought another one thinking that maybe it was just a bad pump but when I bought the second one same thing turn it open it and on this one the issue that I had was this thing was done So the Home Depot one is made out of different kinds of plastics. Um, 
you name it. So I wasn't too thrilled about this product, especially because it was pretty expensive. All right, and when we look at the water pump that I got from Harbor Freight, you'll see it's completely different. So I do got to clean it up. As you can see, um, it's got a lot of vegetation stuck to it, but the pump is strong enough that it'll just tear it apart. Um, small pumps will easily get clogged because on this one, I had to unclog it quite a few times. There was little to no water flowing. This one, water flows through it, uh, simply because on the inside, Let me get my GoPro. Simply because in the inside, it doesn't have that little plastic that the Home Depot pumps have. It looks a bit different. Um, so this looks a lot stronger. It definitely has a lot more horsepower. Uh, so I've been very satisfied, very happy with the pump that I bought from Harbor Freight. And that's about it. Here is another Google search that will give you the formula on how to tell how many gallons your pond has. Thanks everyone, have a good day, bye.